Welcome back guys, Kevin from Project Laser. Got another day of laser cleaning for you guys. Thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown of how I've set up today, just so you guys can better understand what I do. So let's flick this around. Got a pretty good setup today, it's really secure. So we've got two generators outside. They could have stayed in the van, but I put them outside just so there'd be less noise when I'm recording. Uh, got our danger tape, everything's all in there. Set our screen up so that no one can see from that side. There's no danger of laser pulses going up above us. And then basically when I'm cleaning, all the laser beams are going to get shot into this wall. So it's an entirely safe environment. What we're doing today is we're at a non-destructive testing company. So we're cleaning all their validation plates. Got a whole bunch of different parts here. I've actually cleaned these all before about eight months ago. There's more in this other one as well. These will all take 30 seconds to clean. I'm actually gonna roll a previous clip from when I was here last time, and you'll see how long it took me to clean. How long it took me to clean a piece like this was probably five minutes. I'll now do it in 30 seconds probably. So 200 watt laser is a toy in comparison to this 500 watt four jet laser that I operate now. It's an absolute beast and I, I love it. So we got face masks here, other camera GoPro stuff, some rags. So after I've laser cleaned everything, I'll spray it with WD-40 and wipe it down. The reason for that was last time, after I laser cleaned some of these things, I sent them off and had all sweaty hands. So that's literally corrosion caused by my sweaty fingers. And they sent these off and unfortunately had corrosion on them, so I had to redo them. So this time after I've laser cleaned them, spray, spray them with WD-40 and that problem is gone. Here you can see a comparison between the 500 and 200 watt lasers that we operate on the same component. So the 500 watt lasers, yeah, probably 20 times quicker. We were rather thorough with our cleaning process, went over the same surface multiple times. This is just to make sure that we release all the particulates and dye penetrant residues from all the tiny manufactured cracks and defects on each component. What you are looking at here is the penetrant fluorescent testing under a blue light. So we did before and afters and you can see how much improved visibility there was once we passed the laser over the surface. Traditional cleaning methods for NDT can smear or basically fold over or hide a defect because they're abrasive um, or destructive. The benefit of laser cleaning is it's non-destructive so if there is a defect there the laser will clean within it. Um, and then you'll be able to see it if you're doing dye penetrant testing.
we got a bunch more die penetrant and magnetic particle pieces. Uh, we'll get through these in the next 20 minutes. Yeah. It's all a light level of contamination on you. They've all, they get regularly cleaned. Just we do it once every six months. Laser clean just to get them back to how they were when they're brand new, basically. As you can see, I left my fingerprints over all these pieces. It was a good lesson to learn nice and early on one of my first jobs that you should always protect the surface after you've cleaned it. Especially if you've got sweaty hands, you should be very careful of touching a metal. That's also why I put on the disposable gloves, just so I could regularly change them and just so I could protect the components from any iron contamination. That was a perfect example of how lasers operate. So basically it delaminated that white paint off the surface. Um, but it wasn't vaporizing it partially because it was white. Um, so once I agitate it and remove it off the surface, uh, and pass the laser over the material again, that will all come off. Here you can see the first time we cleaned these validation plates, so it was using the 200 watt laser. So the cleaning speed was probably 25 minutes for each one of these plates, front and back, as well as the four sides. They had a far higher level of corrosion on them because they basically been left down the rain um, and they were unusable at that point. So the laser was able to bring them back to working quality. And then when we came back six months later with the larger laser, they were nice and clean, as you can see here.
job's a good one. So we wrap that up relatively quickly. They ended up bringing an extra two trolleys. So we've done all of that. They're all nicely packed away. Yeah, we've got a really good finish on everything. So, super chuffed. Uh, even more happy doing this job compared to when I did it previously with the, the little 200 watt laser. So yeah, we've got fantastic finished product. Got really good finished products all packed away. Uh, off to the next demonstration. So I got to shoot. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.